What's up, what's up, what's up, boys and girls? I'm Plant Powers, and this is The Procession to Calvary by Joe Richardson. His third game uh, so far, and it's a very interesting looking one. Uh, I saw this on Steam and I couldn't help myself, honestly. Uh, it's a point and click adventure game, all entirely made with Renaissance paintings. I mean, if that doesn't sound cool, I don't know what will. Uh, this is pretty cool, this is pretty interesting. I've only. I've only played like a little bit at the beginning to test out the sounds and it already seems very funny and very interesting so I can't really wait to get into this. Yeah, I just want to show you this uh, settings here. There's music and there's not much to it, there's only music and SFX but it also says trigger a monk blowing a raspberry on exiting this menu. Uh, sure, okay, let's... <laughs> Why? <laughs> Anyways, so this is the type of game uh, you should be expecting, or the type of comedy you should be expecting from this game. Without any further ado, let's get right into it, shall we? New game. Yeah, yeah, start a new game. Just murdered a bunch of people right there. Whoa! That's enough! The holy war is over! No way! Already? Yes! We won! Dang! Rejoice! Good has triumphed over evil. The north is finally free from the tyranny of Heavenly Peter. Does that mean I have to stop murdering people? Yes! We are now entering a time of peace! A time of spiritual freedom! But I don't have the freedom to kill a few more people? No. No more murders. One more murder? No more murders. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> okay. If you have a problem with the new regime, please take it up with our new leader. Immortal John. All hail Immortal John. All hail Immortal John. <laughs> okay. I guess I'd better find this Immortal John chap. Uh, instructions. Left click to interact with your surroundings, Left, right click to draw, resheath your sword, middle click to highlight hotspots, your inventory is located at the top of the screen, click items to examine them, drag or drop items to use them, uh, double click to run. Okay, alright, so I guess we're finally playing now. So yeah, we're playing this uh, chappy here, who is a very uh, murder happy, and he just wants to do... Uh, Murders, I guess. I just wants to go around chopping people up and down, stabbing people in the back, front, the sides, whatever you call it. Uh, yeah. Uh, look at the game already. It looks so interesting. This is so cool. I've never seen anything like this, to be honest. Uh, and for the uh, the for uh, you, the most keen uh, observer, uh, you will notice there's uh, various uh, famous paintings throughout uh, the game. I'm not really. I'm not really an art con connoisseur, if you want to call it, but uh, yeah, if you are, if you are, then you will notice them, I guess. Alright, let's uh, see our surroundings here. So we have middle button to interact, to see the highlights. Let me start fucking around. So we have see, touch, and talk. Someone's put a big hole in this poor chap's sternum. Yeah, I wonder who that was. Uh, that guy pick up? I think I'll leave him here, okay. Can I talk to him? Rest in peace, you leaky titted burk. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, bugle boys. Talk to them. Tooty 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 toot. A group of lads playing the Stars and Stripes Forever by John Philip Sousa. Are we... Bravo, are we clapping, okay. We got a shield with the, uh, is that Medusa head on, on it? And we got big head of hair as well, I'm not sure if that's fake or uh, ours. In this era, there was a lot of people with fake wigs and stuff. Uh, right, can we, can we talk to Lieutenant General and Field Marshal? Okay. My Lieutenant General with this, with his heel on the throat of a southerner. Okay. Is he still alive? No, I, I don't think so. Hello. How can we help? Uh, 
where will I find Immortal John? He's about 20 paces to the right. It's not really that difficult. Please, can I kill some more people? <laughs> no! If you have a problem with the new regime, yeah, 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 okay, okay. When will I be able to do some more murders? Never! No more murders! Oh, okay, I'm off. <laughs> Good luck, thank you for your service. And remember, no more murders. Yeah, yeah, well, I, got, I got that part. There's a guy hanging, uh, look at his neck, damn. Uh, hanging corpse. A bloated hanging corpse with a pair of scissors sticking out his back. Can I take those? Please. So that was added to our inventory here. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's the menu, okay. And we also have... A magnifying glass, but I'm not sure what I would do with that. Um, burning village. I can see my house from here. Yeah, it's... <laughs> And it's on fire as well. Can we do anything? I'm not a trained firefighter, but I'm pretty sure that's not how you do it. I think that fire has progressed beyond the blow it out phase. Okay, let's uh, head advanced here. Uh, oh, there's death beheading a cadaver here. That is pretty grim, if I say so to myself. Just death beheading a weak cadaver over there. No biggie. Yeah, it's a no big. I think I'd leave him to it. Yeah. Okay, let's leave him to it. Damn, that is really grim. Just with a like a button knife, he's <laughs> beheading the chap. Oh, is this Immortal John? Yeah, everyone's adulating, adulating, adulating him. All right, let's talk to this chap. Oh, let's run. <laughs> Why do I run? Oh, that's pretty cool. It just <laughs> discombobulates all over to the place. Okay. Alright, Immortal John, I have a few words I have to say with you. Excuse me? How can I help you? Are you our new leader? I am just another person, a child of Mother Earth. The people have chosen to see me as their leader. They have given me a crown, but my life is of no more value than any of my so-called subjects. I would happily renounce my title, but the people have chosen to follow me, and I believe their will to be more important than my own dis individual desire. Oh, that's very altruistic of him. That's very honest of him, I guess. Uh, how did you get the name of Immortal John? Before the war, Heavenly Peter forced me to jump from the bell tower in a ritualistic murder ceremony called the Leap of Faith. It was a cruel tradition used to absolve himself of the responsibility of murder. One of, my, one of many such techniques he used to keep us, the people, in a state of terrified subservi subservience. I broke the chain by landing in a passing hayway. I survived the fall with little more than a mild concussion and some vivid nightmares. The people mistook my serendipitous survival for a miracle and named me Immortal John. Okay, are we really immortal then? I highly doubt it, but I guess it's impossible to know for sure until it's too late. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can I do some murders now, please? Absolutely not. Heavenly Peter's hateful reign is over. I intend to be benevolent, a benevolent leader. I believe all men are equal, and equally deserving of happiness. I believe in friendship and love. I believe we can all work together to build a fairer, more prosperous society. I do not believe in murder. Oh, he seems like a good leader, to be honest. Uh, what led you to adopt such ridiculous beliefs? I suffered as much as anyone else at the hands of Heavenly, Heavenly Peter. I led the people in the uprising against his murderous regime. We fought the soldiers of the south and drove Peter and all his followers home. Men, women and children all came together to fight for a single cause. And we achieved something so great none of us had ever dared to dream it possible. That was when I realized the error of my old selfish ways. The power of people with a shared goal of teamwork. It was a revelation more powerful than any I had been supplied by gods. So we renounced his words and began looking to each other for guidance. Oh, well, that's, that's very cool. It's very uh, it's a bit of a communist uh, ideology there, but uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, that's not to say that's bad. I mean, communism... Anyway, that's another topic, but I mean, perfect communism is not bad. That's what I'm trying to say. But perfect communism is not... It's very hard to achieve, to be honest. Uh, wait, so you never actually killed Heavenly Peter? No. 
Unfortunately, fled back to the south before we got the chance. Surely it wouldn't be against your beliefs for me to murder him. Well, he did murder my family in the tent to murder me. And while he is one of the people, he is not one of my people. So I guess I could turn a blind eye. Yes! We both regret this, my lords. Mission accepted. I'm not, strictly speaking, asking you in an official... Travel south, kill Heavenly Peter. Got it. I didn't actually... All hail Immortal John! <laughs> and there he goes, happily as a brand new baby born. Although, what these two up to? What the fuck are they doing? <laughs> Ahoy, boatman! Can you take me to the south? I could take you to a lugger. That could take you to a brig. That could take you to a full rig pinnace. That could take you to the south. Splendid! Let us depart without further delay. But I won't go. I won't be going anywhere until I get my oars back. Oh, what happened to your oars? These two are engaged in such <laughs> a manner. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, what happened to your oars? They were sequestered by the medics at the field hospital to make crutches and the like for the battle-worn soldiers. Now, if you have no oars, why are you still standing on your boats? I'm a boatman. I have to man the boats. That's literally my only job, and I ain't going to stop just because some punk stole my uh, oars. Uh, do you ever get seasick? I once got explosive diarrhea from eating bucket cockles. I aimed it over the edge out of the boat, and the poop was so powerful I traveled eight furlongs northeast before dawn. Does that count? No, I think that would count as food poisoning. <laughs> but thanks for the nightmares. Uh, I guess I should go find some dang ores then, huh? That would be lovely. Thanks. Uh, and also, uh, the, the classical music playing in the background, that's quite cool as well. It, it really fits the... obviously, it has to fit the, uh, the whole uh, uh, aspect of the game. But what's this? A rope? Can I...? I'm not good with knots. Okay. This rope has been tied to the mooring post to stop the boat floating away. Okay. What are these two need men wrestling by the sea? Perfect. Is this an actual... This must be an actual painting, I guess. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> this is so weird. Renaissance paintings are definitely one of the most weirdest uh, paintings of all. Uh, a couple of lads having a good old naked tussle. And that's also a sea uh, list here? Cellist? Sorry. Uh, can I talk to them? I don't want to get involved. I'll be honest, I wouldn't want to get involved either. Um... <laughs> A grey wit cellist playing Johann Sebastian Bach's suit number no. 3 in C major. Oh, that's pretty cool that they give us the, uh, the actual score uh, or the soundtrack to the game. If you uh, care so much as to know it. Alright, let's find these uh, dang ores, shall we? There's a man with it. Oh, there's one of the ores right there. The cripple has it. Uh, okay, I kind of feel bad of taking it. But I, I guess this chap won't. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's a guitar up here. A precariously perched guitar playing, performing Domenico Scarlatti's sonata in E minor. Oh, that's so cool. That is pretty cool. I like that. A long-haired knight languishing in the lap of a lady. Hello. How can I help you? Uh, what's up? We are waiting in line for the field hospital. What injuries are you seeking care for? His hair has grown too long and keeps poking in <laughs> poking his peepers. That doesn't sound very serious. Suffering is relative to a man's experience of hard hardship. This poor chap has had an easy life thus far. Oh, boo-hoo. <laughs> I'm going to kill Heavenly Peter. Wonderful! Heavenly Peter is a scoundrel. He once farted on the preferment of my... <laughs> preferment for my malt loaf. And the yeast became so active that it lifted the thatch off my kitchen. That's, that's lovely. He sounds like a good like old chap. Uh, can you help me get to the south? I don't I don't know anything about that sort of thing. Okay, never mind that. Um, the uh, reticent knight. 
A sad bullfish knight with a rather fetching battle axe. Uh, okay, can I talk to you? Are you okay? Nope. Uh, why so glum, chum? I've been waiting here for six days and the queue hasn't moved. What injuries are you seeking care for? I'm having a moment of existential despair. Oh, so none of it, none of these are really serious. That's why they're waiting outside. None of these are seriously... I mean, uh, that's, uh, depression is a very serious uh, mental illness, but I guess in the field hospital where priorities are with people that are bleeding to death, it wouldn't be. Um, I'm going to kill Heavenly Peter. About time too. Heavenly Peter is the source of all of, of all our woes. The list of his crimes is longer than the, that poor man's hair. Uh, can you help me get to the south? I'm no help to anyone. Not with that attitude. <laughs> that is all. Uh, and you, reclining knights? Oh, I don't know what, what was that. A pitiful looking knight with no shoes on. Can I... Talk to you? Hello? What do you want? Uh, what are you doing down here? Waiting to get looked at by the doctor. What injuries are you seeking care for? My boots came off and now my toasties are cold. I think you need a cobbler or a cold whiner, not a doctor. The doctor is the cobbler! He got promoted after the last clump took a spear to the midriff. <laughs> okay. The, <laughs> the doctor is the cobbler? Oh, wait. Oh, what happened there? Oh my god. There we go. I'm going to kill Heavenly Peter. Good for you. Heavenly Peter is the worst kind of villain. He raped my home and pillaged my wife. Isn't that the, way, the other way around? Uh, can you help me get to the south? Do I look like a sailor to you? No, you look like a grumpy knight. I suggest you find a ship you want to go south with. Okay, bye. Bye. And there's a guard here. Uh, not sure if I should talk to him as well. That's the entrance to the field hospital. Okay. A fancy looking guard guarding the door. Talk to you? Excuse me. What the fuck's happening? What? Excuse me. Yes? Step aside, I must enter the field hospital. Do you accept brides? Uh, uh, no, wait. That's just the one. Here we go. Step aside, I must enter to the field hospital. The hospital is at capacity. They'll have to wait in line. Do you accept bribes? I do not. How about now? Please go away. Uh, that's an expensive looking suit of armor for someone on guard duty. I didn't buy this armor, I murdered its previous owner. Good job on you. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, let me talk to this uh, chippy chappy here. Um, Purple. Talk to you. Wait, look at him first. A one legged beggar with some unorthodox clutches. Hey! Yes, miss? Uh. Oh, yeah, we are, we are women. I didn't even notice this. I guess because of the suit of armor, I just thought uh, the whole long hair. I mean, there was a lot of people with long hair back then. Uh, till today, but. That, <laughs> that has caught me off guard. Now that I was looking at further into the armor. Like, yeah, okay, alright. And we have a skirt as well, like, yeah. Uh, can I borrow your crutches? What do you need them for? I'm traveling south to kill Heavenly Peter. I need the crutches to power the thingy. That will take me to the lugger, that will take me to the brig, that will take me to the full rig pinnace, that will take me to the south. Well, I do hate Heavenly Peter. I still have two whole legs if it wasn't for him, but as strict follower of the doctrine of Immortal John, I believe my own wishes to be secondary to those of the people, so I will ask you uh, so I will have to ask them. Uh, okay. Hey guys, should I give this lass my crushes so she can kill Heavenly Peter? Nope, I don't trust her. I abstain from voting. Too sad. No way. That spoiled bitch already has socks and shoes. Why should she get crutches too? Oh my god. Sorry, the people have spoken. Okay, so I, I'm gonna have to convince all these people here. Okay, I can take care of the hair of this guy. Would you like to use my scissors? Thanks! There we go. Now he has short hair. Oh yeah, that's done. Uh, 
I need to find some boots for this guy, and I need to make this guy happier. But how do I do that? Can I take his, can I take his boots? There, there. Everything will be okay. I appreciate the gesture, but I see no evidence to support your claim. Okay. Alright. Uh, okay, let's go back here. Can I go in here? Piss off. As I'm sure you can see from the queue at my entryway, I am very busy. I have a hundred sick men in here and only and only two lubricated thumbs. I don't have time to chat. No, that's... You heard the man. Piss off. Okay, uh... Right. Oh, uh, the, the naked wrestling men. I'm sure they have, like, boots somewhere. Discarded clothing. At least they have some socks. Let me get those. I'll just extricate these disgusting socks from the pile. Thank you. Uh, can I take more boots? I already stole their socks. I don't want to be greedy. Okay. Alright, we got some socks. At least. Let me give the socks to the man here. I found, I found you some socks. There we go, thank you. What a kindness. I won't soon forget this deed. No, you will not. Now, how do I make this chap happy? Uh, can I talk to him? Are you okay? Nope. Uh, existential despair. Uh, how do I can take care of that? Uh, can I just say... Let, let me try and tap him on the head again. Okay, no, that's the same. Alright. Uh, okay, what about now? I need those whores. Uh, what happened to your leg, actually? War! Can you be more specific? I got bit by a pine marten while cowering in a thicket of azaleas. The wound went septic and they had to cut my leg off to stop the rot spreading to my tits. <laughs> I was, okay. I mean, so it, was, it wasn't exactly war, you were just hiding in a bush. Uh, do you like samphire? What's that? I don't know, I think it's like a herb or something? I don't have an opinion on that. Cool. Cool chat. Uh, good chat. Can I borrow your crutches now? I don't know. Let's see. Hey guys, should I borrow her? Okay. Yeah, she seems cool. Yeah, why not? Give that tootsie warming princess whatever she wants. Ah, here we go then. Didn't do- didn't have to do much much else for the existential despairing chap. Uh, dang. I guess I'll be crawling through the muck from now on. Oh, poor- poor guy. Here. Thanks! <laughs> God. <laughs> and it just falls down. Okay, no problem. <laughs> oh, man. I feel so sorry for him, but I guess we have more important business to attend to. I'm sorry. Alright, I got yours, old man. I got you some dang oars. That can take me to a brig. That can take me to a full rig penis. That can take me to the south now? Sure. Just untie us from the mooring post and jump in. Alright, let's untie this. I'm not good with knots. Oh, are you serious? Alright, hold up. I can just do this. There we go. Perfect. Prepare to be boarded. Let's roll. <laughs> Look at that circle. We're the flag master. These paintings are beautiful though, like... She must be exhausted by them. <laughs> Straight into the donkey. Uh, thanks for giving me rides. I would never have gotten this far south on foot. No problem, pal. What are you traveling this far south for anyways? 
playing the holy war, I guess. Uh, the holy war is over. We won. Ain't no winners in war, lady. That is the very, the very deep truth right there. Looks like one of your wheels broke. But judging by that massive statue of Heavenly Peter, I'd say we've reached my destination. So I couldn't care less. So long, sucker! Hold it right there, buddy. Look at my massive key! What business do you have in our town? Um, <clears throat> I'm, I, I'm sure I can't just get out and say I'm here to murder your leader. I don't think they'll appreciate that. Uh, I'm here on the holy pilgrimage. Okay, let's see your tourist visa. I don't have a tourist visa. Well, you can't come in without a valid visa. Look at my massive key! <laughs> Look at his massive key! <laughs> seriously, seriously though. We don't just let any old riffraff into our zone. Piss off. Oh god. <laughs> You could have told me, who's the sucker now? Both of us, I guess. Oh yeah, thank... Could you help me get into the town? Oh, now you need my help. Yes, please. Well, I am a registered shell trader with a valid shell trading visa, so I could sneak you into town in the back of my shell cart. But I won't be going anywhere until I get this wheel fixed and... cheer up my donkey. Oh, oh, uh... God, now we need to get the wheel fixed. Um, what's wrong with your donkey? He's sad. Oh god. I'll have to cheer him up before I can get back on the road. Oh, okay. oh, what's wrong with your wheel? It's broken. I'll have to find a new one before I can go any further. Okay, I'm on it. Cheerio. Uh, I haven't got anything to fix the... I just take my swords out and kill these guys. Are you sure this is a good idea? The whole no more murder situation was made pretty clear. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll do it. But if I was you, I would think very carefully. <laughs> Save your progress. <laughs> before you ask me again. Oh wow, she was actually... Uh, let's save here. Okay, is that saved? Okay. Is she going to do it? Look at my massive swords! Holy shit, off with his hands. Okay, pal. If that's how you want to play it, I'm not going to stop you. But you won't get very far in life with that attitude. Thanks for the advice, Grandma. So that's one way of getting into town, okay. I can see the Basilica on the other side of the canal. <clears throat> the Heavenly Basilica. Heavenly Peter's Basilica, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna load up... Well, that was weird. I guess uh, I know where to find Heavenly Peter now. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna load. Let's go back, cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna kill anyone, honestly. Uh, so I guess we could play the game just by killing everyone. But as the other guy said, that will probably not get you very far. Uh, meaning maybe the game won't finish if you just keep killing everyone and uh, skip throughout uh, all the puzzles and uh, and everything you have to do throughout the game. But yeah. Okay, so let's look at these guys here. The Five Piece Chamber Orchestra. A small chamber orchestra playing Antoni Vivaldi's Chamber Concerto in F Major from the top of a well pruned stone prime. Ah, can I chop, chop down this tree or something? There's a big hole as well here. What's going on here? Someone has dug a big hole in the muck. Let me look at the statue. A huge, gaudy, golden statue of Heavenly Peter. I guess I'm in the right place. This is just a statue. I'll save my aggression for the real thing. Okay. Uh, so we can go back there. So we can go through here. 
Um, yeah, let's go through here. See what's up. Oh, come on now, Steve. Let's get you home to your wife. I don't want to go back. Just give me a few more hours. You're squandering your prime playing dead in an empty grave. Think of all the thrills you could be seeking if you were standing aloft. All the pranks you could be pulling with your pants on. But it's so peaceful in there. Oh god, now he's actually dead. Uh, horny man. <laughs> horny man. Some somber looking horn plays unleashing a particularly dramatic section of Wagner's Siegfried. A uh, pile of bones here is on the ground as well. At what point does a pile of bones become a skeleton? You need a full set, sure, but uh, do you have to store them in the correct order? I guess you would. This music is very dramatic. I love it. Can I take these? I don't want a pile of gross old bones. Some big old berries. Uh, can I take them? I don't need berries. I'm not going to get my fingers all sticky for no good reason. There's also a grave here. Dead guy. Um, looks like a dead guy. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to sleep here, pal. Oh, is that actually dead? Hello? Piss off. Uh, he's got a book. A large, fancy looking leather bound book. Can I take it? Please refrain from attempting to steal my book. I can't sleep unless I have something to hug. So unless you have something more cuddly than this book for me, not very flipping likely, I love this book. Piss off. Uh, okay. Is he he's sleeping in the grave? That is fucking weird. <laughs> um, so I guess what happened to... Oh god. Uh, poor Steve. Yeah. Poor Steve. Uh, he's resting in peace now. Yeah, finally. Yes. This boulder is blocking the entrance to some sort of cave. It's too heavy to move on my own. Like... I don't want to sully my blades. Okay. Talk to the boulder. Hello? No response. Uh, can I take... He's resting in peace now. Okay, can't really do nothing here. Uh, can I maybe take the pile of bones to the... No. Okay, let's go to the other side then. Uh, let's go all the way up here, see if there's anything there that we can use. The broken down shell cart, yeah, that's what we need to fix. Remember, oh my god, what the fuck? Remember your recently crucified Lareth, Lareth, uh, relatives, the way God intended, with commemorative t-shirts. Uh, Pepperished, but still cherished. <laughs> Look at all this fucking screaming. Oh my god, this is this is very macabre. There's a flutist, a fancy flutist, playing Beethoven's quartet number 10 in E major, like his breeches are on fire. Yeah. Oh god. Uh, Crucified chaps. This guy is having a bad a bad day. I can't reach. Um, I don't think he's in the mood for a conversation. God, damn! This is very uh, <laughs> as heads on platters here as well. That ah, damn. This is very sad. Dick. Um, did I talk to this woman? She seems to be selling t-shirts adorned with the faces of crucified men. Oh, this is so... this is... something else. Uh, severed heads. A collection of severed heads. Some a lot fresher than others. Uh, can I take... Can I borrow one of your heads? Sure! You never know when you're going to need a maggot-ridden corpse bon uh, bones. Emrite? Thanks! Uh, I was being fascitious. Uh, fascitia! Pashithius? Pashithius? You to it. Oh, too late. Pashithius. Pashithius. <laughs> I can't say that word. No backsies. Alright, I got I got Ned. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm gonna reuse that. Can I talk to this lady? 
Hello. Hello. Uh, what's going on here then? I'm selling crucifixion uh, merchandise so the loved ones of the recently crucified can go home with something to remember them by. It's a pretty lucrative gig. Oh god. What's with the severed heads? I can't fill a whole person in the t-shirts, but I find it hard to draw the heads without drawing the shoulders. So I use the severed heads for reference. Oh god. Uh, I'd like to buy some of your lovely crucifixion memorabilia, please. Uh, you got coins? Nope. No, sorry, no coins, no merch. Okay, I bid thee farewell. Oh, thou, uh, thou bid me fare thee well? Huzzah! I'm honored to have been granted the chance to share discourse with such a lady. A queen, no doubt, from the property of her speech. Piss off. Uh, oh, there's a poor woman here in the angst as well. Uh, can I do... Can't really, uh, okay. Crucified chaps, yeah. There's a skunk here on the floor. God damn, look at these guys. The rest of them went loincloth slash no t-shirts. Uh, this guy went shirts slash no loincloth. That's a bold fashion choice and I love it. Can I talk to him? Look at his face. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, I don't want to get there. Damn it. Yikes. And there's someone here burning in the spit. Oh my god. Hold up. Let me go back. Oh, so much violence happening. Uh, can I talk to him? I don't think he's in the mood for a conversation here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't know which one's worst, honestly. Um, suspiciously hotspot e posts. Uh, oh, it's got a wheel on the top as well. Hmm. Why am I even examining these posts? It's got a shape of a wheel. A man on the wheel, yeah. A crippled dying man strapped to a perfectly functioning wheel. Yeah, can I cut this down? There we go. Can I untie the man? I'll just pop that in my pocket. What, with the man as <laughs> Okay. Um, skunk. It's a large, stinky, butted skunk. Can I take it? Okay. Oh lord, that stinks! Okay. Uh, words don't work on wild animals. They're only interested in foods and sex. Can I cut it down? I'll do no such thing. Okay. Good. Uh, so we can't really go this way. Uh, let's go to the place where the guy was burning in his in the spits. Jesus Christ. Uh, the torturee, torturers. And there's another pilot being tortured by horses. On. <laughs> Look at how elastic his limbs are. God damn. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, what's this fella here? New bowman. A naked man standing on the rock with a longbow. Uh, can I talk to him? Hello. Can I help you? Uh, what are you doing up there? What are you? Yeah. I'm playing shoot the apple off this silly man's heads. Oh, okay. Uh, where are all your clothes? I don't have any. I'm nudes. What do you do in the, the winter? I stay active. Yeah, you gotta. You gotta. Are you going to shoot the dang apple off that chump's head or not? Don't rush me. Okay, now I'm ready. Nice. Nice shots. Firing a bow is easy when... Your butt is exposed to the elements. <laughs> okay, nice tip there, buddy. Thank you. Shall I pick up? Can I pick up this apple? Cool. Can I have my arrow back, please? Sure. I'm strictly infantry trained. I wouldn't know what to do with this thing anyways. Thanks. So we got an apple as well? Okay. Maybe we can give that to the skunk. Uh, let's see what these guys are playing. The loot wench. A slightly somber loot player performing John Dolan's Fantasia. And a metronome. Oh my god, that's. <laughs> okay. Uh, a tiny, impeccable, impeccably dressed timekeeper. Yeah. Can I talk to him? I don't want to put, put him off his rhythm. Okay. A uh, man tied to a tree. It looks like he has some arrows as well stuck in him. Uh, not without an apple in his head. Okay. Hello. 
please just leave me alone. Okay, um, what are these guys up to? I mean, obviously they're roasting someone alive, but... A couple of spit boys roasting a Nerio... A Nerio do well. I'm not sure spit roasting is the best form of punishment, but if you are going to cook a man, this is definitely the best way to do it. Can I talk to them? Hello. What do you want then? Uh, what you doing? We're torturing a thief, ain't we? Cooking up his guts and the like. Ouch. Ouch ain't wrong. Uh, what has this chap done to deserve such a faith? He only stole the goddamn cobbler's bloody pliers, didn't he? And when we caught the plum red handed, he swallowed the flipping evidence. He swallowed the pliers? That sounds like a level of commitment to freedom that should be rewarded. <laughs> or a level of stupidity that should be giggled at. <laughs> uh, do you really think physical torture is an effective form of punishment? Asking the big questions here. Don't you think a system of rehabilitation and reintegration would be more humane? Are you questioning the methods of Jon Evanly Peters then? Because that would be hearsay, and I don't mind telling you, it could buy you a few days on the rack. Oh no, I was only kidding. I love torture. Carry on. I'll leave you to it. I should hope you will. Uh, can I look at him then? Uh, that guy's having a rough day. Can I talk to him? Is in no fit state for conversation. Okay, so I guess we just came here to... Um, to get the apple. Trums, 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 trums. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, there's a fire as well, hold up. Pots. Yeah. I don't want to burn my fingers. Oh, can I maybe use the apple here? I don't want to burn that, okay. Um, burn the heads. The last time I incinerated a severed head, my girlfriend contracted typhus. I don't think the two were related. But I'd rather not risk it. Uh, maybe not. Can I burn this guy then? I don't want to burn that. Okay. Fair enough. So we have some fire here just in case uh, we need it. Uh, we got a wheel. Let's get out of here. Because this place creeps me out, honestly. And look at the background as well. Like all these people gathering up. And I guess that's where they crucify people or they hang people. Man, the the, the Dark Ages, the Middle Ages, they were fucking ruthless and uh, oh, so macabre. Okay, I'm gonna take a break right here. I think that's a good spot with the lovely music playing out. Uh, what was this again? Antonio Vivaldi's Chamber Concerto in F Major. Okay, cool. Uh, seems like the perfect music background to... Take a little break here. Uh, I'm just gonna ask this once. If you guys like the video and if you want to support the channel, please consider leaving a like or a dislike. And uh, if you want, subscribe to the channel to see more videos just like this and keep in touch with all the latest gameplays here on the channel. So yeah, uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. I hope you're enjoying the game. I certainly am. The, it seems really funny and it's really, really... It's a unique concept. I've never seen this before, actually. And uh, all the paintings look so marvelous, so colorful, so alive. And uh, it's really incredible to see portraits come to life in this manner. So yeah, I'm really enjoying my time here. I hope uh, you boys and girls are as well. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.